I have been reading and watching about this new tool Fabric for few days now. Whichever video you watch about it or if you read the repo, the claims are tolls. Before I go further into this, let me say that the tool is good so, and but so are thousands of other open source free tools where people have put in effort, their money, their resources and their serving community. So really heads off to the creator who has done hard work on it. But calling it a tool which augments human AI, I think that is a tall claim. Plus, there are few resources which I have watched on YouTube where people are calling it that this is going to be remedy of everything human uh, do or it is going to replace everything when it comes to humans interacting with AI. And even if you read the repo of this project, you will see that they are calling it framework for augmenting humans using AI. That is taking it too far in my humble opinion. This framework, Fabric, all it is doing it, it is writing better prompts for your large language models. It is trying to bring a system to the madness of prompts, nothing else. That's it. Yes, there are few frills, bells and whistles here and there where it can start using agents for better prompting. But under the hood, all it is doing it, it is just trying to make prompt engineering systematic more better that's it in this video we will be installing it locally and then we will also see how it does that it works with openai and also some of the open source tooling but i will be using um, openai's model for it so let's get right into it and we will see how can we separate out the hype from the reality so let me log into my local system this is my local system where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and i am using one gpu card of 22 gpu of vram i don't think so you need a gpu for this but i already have it so i just wanted to show you that let me clear the screen there are a few, few prerequisites which you need to have of course you need to have python and then you need to have pipx installed let me quickly install Papex and that should be done fairly quickly. Papex is installed. Let me clear the screen. Then make sure that you clone the repo of this fabric, which is fabric.git, and I will drop the link to it in video description. Let's press enter. And then as soon as it is done, we are going to CD into it. It's quite a big repo, by the way. Repo is done. Let's CD to Fabric. Let's clear the screen. Now, before we proceed further, I would highly suggest that you install Conda or Mini Conda. I already have this Conda. If you don't know how to do it, then please install it by just watching one of my videos or just search it on the YouTube. You should find plenty of them. It will keep everything nice and clean and separate from your local system. So I already have Conda installed. So I'm going to just create a virtual environment with Conda and make sure that for this fabric you are using Python version 3.10 and above. Let's press Y here and it is going to activate our fabric, uh, install our fabric and we will activate it by just doing Conda activate fabric and now it is in this parenthesis. Let's clear the screen. Now let's install some of the prerequisites which are needed by simply doing pipx install dot. So let's wait for it to finish. It is going to upgrade and install a lot of stuff. Prerequisites are done and make sure that all of these things which it has installed like fabric, fabric API is on the path by running this pipx ensure path command. That is also done and now we need to just restart our shell. My shell is bash so I'm just going to use this source command and it has bounced my shell. So everything is now set up and now we need to set up the fabric. So let's clear the screen and run this command fabric space dash dash setup. Once you run it, it is asking you to put in your OpenAI's API key. I'm going to paste it here and I'll press enter and then when the sc screen clears, I'll be back. 
I have masked my API key, but I'm just showing you that after that OpenAIS API key, it is also asking me if I have Anthropics Cloud API key or Google YouTube API key. I have just pressed enter, enter, and then it has updated all the um, default and built in prompts or patterns. And then if you downloaded few stuff and patterns updated, and now everything is set up and nice and easy. So let me clear my screen. If you want to test if Fabric is installed, then simply write Fabric and maybe dash H. It is going to give you all the help options or you can simply do Fabric dash dash list models. It is going to show you the models it supports. As you can see, a lot of them are GPT. Some of the local models if you are using Olama or Google and Cloud model. So it means it can be used with Gemini, Opus, Sonnet and that sort of stuff. Let me clear the screen. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it a text and then I will use one of its patterns. The patterns as I said, it's just a summarized way of saying that you need a prompt. For example, if you want to sum if you want a summary of any article, instead of writing the full prompt that I want to write, get a summary of this, 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 you just say your file name and summary of the article and I will show you how. So before that, I just have this article in this txt file this is an article i just got it written by um chat gpt so it just talks about contentment happiness inner peace that sort of stuff but just a free-flowing text you can use any of your own i will ask the fabric to summarize it and the way we do it is quite simple you just do cat my text or txt and then then i'm piping it to Fabric and the pattern I'm using it summarize. So let's see what Fabric does here. It is running, making API calls. So let's wait. There you go. So here you see, first it has given us one sentence summary that what exactly contentment is, then the main points of that, and then takeaways. Now, this is quite good, no doubt about that. That instead of you directing your model that okay you want first one sentence summary and then you want the main points in the article and then you want the takeaways you have to create a prompt prompt around it maybe it will vary from model to model or it could be a bit difficult and if you remember last uh, yesterday we uh, did a video on dspy from stanford that has the same sort of concept which takes the prompt engineering to another level in a complex pipeline. But this one is also helping us out in prompt engineering. All we are doing it, we are just giving it a pattern. And then on the basis of that pattern, it is automatically generating an optimal prompt, talking to the model and then giving the result back to us. That it is what, is, what it is doing and doing it fabulous, fabulously well. Heads off to the creator, I think his name is daniel meisler if not, if i'm not mistaken but it is not augmenting humans it is not solving all of your life's problems it is not really uh, automating everything around your life so i think this is our duty too as a youtuber that to not to just balloon anything so much that later down the road there will be disappointment anyway um so this is uh, what fabric does it does prompt engineering and does it in a style really cool, but nothing else. It's not augmenting any human life out there. I have cleared the screen. Another pattern you can use is to extract wisdom out of the article. So again, I am just piping my file to the fabric and the pattern I am using it to extract wisdom out of it. So. I don't have to write a full blown prompt. All I have done is just I have specified the pattern and let's see what fabric does here now. So there you go. Now it has gone in. It has given us again the summary, some of the ideas in this article, then insight, some of the quotes that contentment is not just a fleeting emotion, but a profound state of being. Then it is talking about habits, facts, references, they be curious philosophy on living amazing and then one sentence takeaway is cultivate contentment through simplicity gratitude mindfulness and embracing life's imperfections with grace so this is what it does and does it quite nicely 
Now, there are a lot of other patterns which you can check uh, from the GitHub repo. Let me show you. So, for example, this is a GitHub repo and if there are a lot of patterns there. So, you see analyze answer, analyze claims, pros, and then list goes on and on and on. And it's a crowdsourcing one. You can add, also add your own. So, pretty good. I think the project is not bad at all. And really hats off to the creator. Um, I think Daniel Messler. So, but again, it is not augmenting humans and it is not humans flourishing via AI augmentation. So I'm sorry, uh, I really don't buy it. Uh, and please, uh, I really want to make it very, very crystal clear, not trying to undermine the effort of the creator here. Awesome job, but a job they have done is they have made prompt engineering uh, really, really cool, taken it to another level. I know there are also other features in it, but at the end of the day, it is an optimized prompt engineering and then making sure that whatever we are instructing the models is going through in a proper way. Still evolve, evolving a lot of work. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.